Gonna ride this out. Ooh, gotta run that on the front bumper. Um, I will take that any day. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here on Torture of Beta. Again, Grease Monkey Games. Look at that monkey smile. So we are here today to look at the stock cars. So I do have a couple stock cars in my garage. This is something I've been wanting to do for a little bit, but I haven't had done it yet. So we do have a stock Miata, a stock BRZ, and then we also have the S15, the E30, and the E46 BMW. We do have a legend car, which is the Supra. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to take all these stock cars out for a practice and uh, shred every single one of them stock and see which one handles better and shreds the best stock. So, before we actually uh, start spending some money on this, I'm going to go into practice and I honestly think, trying to think where the best place to test them probably will be the yard because it has jumps, it has elevation, it has downhill, it has banks and curves and all that stuff. So we're going to rip the BRZ and I'm going to try to put them all on stock tires if we can because I believe all of them would be on these tires but that's how they came so actually yeah we're going to put them all the stock tires. So we're going to go with the stock tires we're going to rip the BRZ at the yard which has got the jump drift and we're going to test all these cars stock and see how they handle see which one I think slides the best we're going to throw this into the jump drift. Here's he handled that jump drift actually very well. Kind of actually very surprised. Power is a little bit laxing, but... And then we come to a dead stop on the cone. I would say the power is a little bit laxing, but of course these cars are all stock. So I didn't expect them to have outrageous amounts of power. But, so, BRZ handles pretty well um, for the limit on power and we got people liking Instagram photos and uh, kind of messing me up a little bit man you're gonna have to wait I'm kind of recording right now and you're sitting there liking my Instagram I should probably turn off the notifications so I'm this BRZ does not handle as well as I had hoped I did have a BRZ before the beta reset and it drove a lot better but of course that one had a lot of performance mods and tunes on it so the BRZ handles okay it handled that first jump drift very well so we're gonna throw the jump drift again throw it on there a little bit of reverse entry outside the cones so that actually handled the jump pretty well so now we are going to switch it up we're gonna pull out that MX-5 and uh, we're gonna send that MX-5 out here on the track uh, we're gonna change the tires up again and put it to stock tires because we have infinite amounts of stock tires and I don't want to shred my good tires which I have a pretty decent amount of tires right now so now the MX-5 uh, I don't think the MX-5 is gonna handle this jump drift as well as a BRZ did but then again I could be very much wrong throw it in there uh, actually the MX-5 uh, handled that jump drift just as well as that BRZ and it seems to be we're gonna get stuck in the same spot so my lines are consistent if nothing else my lines are consistent here on the beta so oh, we're missing a door but we got a roll cage in the stock MX-5 so apparently these cars aren't very stock in a sense but it is stock the street car with a cage so the MX-5 is probably handling a little bit better than the BRZ but maybe it's all the weight reduction that we added to this car <laughs> could be the weight reduction kit with the lack there of bumpers and doors and everything on those lines but I feel like the, the MX-5 is a little bit easier to control and uh, I feel like I kind of want to uh, build an MX-5 now I did do a live stream the other night and someone did say something about well, yesterday, not the other night. Yeah, it would be the other night. 
yesterday evening and uh, somebody said something about building Miata and uh, I think we might build a Miata after we tax it into the wall. We're going to need a lot of new body panels for this car. So let's hit back to main menu. I think the Miata handles a little bit better than the, the BRZ, but the BRZ does handle good once you get mods onto it. So there is that. So now the next street car is that, I don't want to order these cars. Is that S15? Oh, apparently I just bought the S15. Uh, okay. Apparently, I pushed too many buttons and I bought an S15. So I guess we'll go to the yard with our newly purchased S15. Uh, yep. Apparently, we purchased an S15 and it comes with some really, really sticky tires. So we're going to throw these onto the backs. Back to the stocks. And we're going to throw the S15 at the yard. So apparently uh, there was no wait time for that S15, so that's I guess a good thing. We're gonna throw this in the jump drift. S15 does not take the jump drift as well as the Miata or the BRZ. And once again, my lines are very consistent. So the S15 is a very good car. I had an S15 before the thing reset as well, and uh, it was extremely good once you got a tune on it and the tunes once you got it dialed it was very good and it was a very good car but stock uh something a bit relaxing i still still think the mx5 is still my favorite so far stock car or street untuned car here on the beta look at that I mean, the S15 does get it. I mean, I'll give it that. The S15 can uh, can shred. Okay, so maybe maybe in the latter part of the sections it shreds. So we're gonna jump drift it. So we always end up team to taxing them into the wall uh, right before we end it. Go back to the garage. I don't want to accidentally buy another car, so we're gonna go slowly here. Go to straight, and then we're going to test drive the E30 at the yard. So E30. Am I expecting a lot from it? Mm, probably not. And it's on some very grippy tires. So apparently these cars come with grippy tires and some really high tires. This thing's got a lot of get up and go. Let's see how it handles the jump drift. Uh, handles the jump drift pretty well. The C30 is, uh... C30's getting it. I do like the E30 a little bit. We didn't... We didn't tax that wall like we did with the other cars. And, uh... It's definitely getting down stock. Uh, I honestly think the E30 might be so far my favorite stock car. Except for that. Looks like it's almost got a three wheel motion. Almost like Von Gittens, you know, and Chelsea Denofa's FD car. But, you know, when you wreck it like that, it's definitely a bad thing. Because when it's sideways, it almost seems like it's three wheeling and the front wheels are picking up. Maybe it's just me, and maybe I'm just thinking it is, but it kind of looks like the front wheels are picking up. So, E30. Um, definitely in the running for one of my favorite cars. Stock, here so far on the beta. Really hard reverse entry almost. It's actually a really good reverse entry. Should put that into the reverse entry contest uh, that is going on in the Torque Drift Beta uh, Facebook group. That was a... Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna ride this out. Ooh, gutter run that on the front bumper. Um, I will take that any day. Throw that really hard. We're just, just taxing that. All right. E30. Um, got the MX5 beat. MX5 is a close second though. 
Very close second. So I think we got one more stock car to try before we go to that legendary Supra. I think I'm probably going to end up buying that E30 now. Because, uh, I think it was definitely getting it. Oh, arrives in zero seconds. That's why. That's why I got that E30 right away. Or the uh, S15. I probably could have just bought these two. Probably saved myself some money, but who knows? I don't really want to build too many cars. I want to get a car dialed. So now we got this E46, which uh, I love the look of the back with the uh, rear radiator. Uh, the C3046 has definitely got some power. Oh, um, did not handle that jump drift that well. I'm uh, not thinking. Okay. I'm on fire, Ricky Bobby. Spinning out and flipping. So, we're going to try that one again. Uh, because that was just horrible. Alright, because it was a really bad entry on this jump drift section. So, we're going to try this again. So, E46, very, uh, looks like it's very heavy and sluggish. It might be very good with some power added to it. But this thing is, this thing's almost like a, this thing's drifting like a boat. I mean, the E46s are boats, in a sense. They're pretty, they're a pretty big, uh, pretty big two-door. I know this because I work for BMW, but, uh, I mean, it handled that wall tap pretty well. We got some really long straight pipes out the back, the back end of this car, though. So all these cars handle pretty well stock. You could, you could definitely get a good good drift line going. Is it going to be a huge 100,000 point run, let's say on Skyline or something? Eh, not so much. We'd have to add some power to it. But it is definitely not up there for top, top cars for stock because it handles the jump drift very weird. And once again, tax it into the wall. So we got one more car to try, and that is the Toyota Supra, the Legends. Now I know that car is going to handle a lot better probably because it's got, I believe, 500 horsepower. I believe 500 horsepower, yep. So we're going to test drive it at the yard. So if you guys are enjoying these Torque Drift beta videos, which I know you guys are getting a lot of good feedback from you guys, and a lot of uh, views and new subscribers to the channel. So I'm going to keep bringing you guys Torque Drift beta videos as long as the beta is here. And as long as the content continues to be enjoyed. So yeah, this car has aftermarket on the Legendary, which means it's got mods. So let's see how the Super handles this. Handles the Jump Drift. Handles it pretty much like a boss. Don't do that again. <laughs> if you guys are noticing a trend, I like to throw a little bit too far on that section. I probably should break, but I feel like I could get it. But then once I initiate it, I'm like, nope, this is not going to end out well. I should probably bail. But I keep going anyways. So, the Supra. This is very unfair test to the other cars because this is not a stock car. We just yanked our bumper off to clean off the car. So, I do like the Miata. I do like the E30. I think I'm going to build one of them. Throw some parts on one of them and uh, try getting some more sidewaysness out of it. Get some more power in that car because my S14 doesn't have a lot of power. It only has 450 horsepower. So, I bet you we could get one of those other cars up to a very good... Bit. That's a pretty nice reverse entry there as well. Ooh, tag. So I think we're probably gonna end up building another car. I'm gonna buy some parts for it, but of course I gotta wait for my parts because well, that's part of the game. So we're gonna go to the MX5. We're gonna go to the parts store. And uh we're gonna start with Wisefab. We're gonna throw on a turbo. Throw on an exhaust. 
You see you. Clutch. And suspension. Two, four. Yeah, we can't instant buy any of the, all of that because we'd run out of money and coins. Want to buy the brakes? Still got twenty-three. So these are not ready yet until our other parts arrive. So let's go and look at body kits because I feel like I want to throw a body kit on this car. Uh, yes. We'll throw that body kit on that car. Second body kit doesn't do much. And then we should probably look at maybe upgrading the wheels some so that we can, uh, Definitely poke the rear back out because that's a very narrow stance. And we'll probably go with some bronze in dash wheels. You're getting uh, Instagram messages from Mr. Harris. What's up, man? He's trying to sell me a car in Forza, which I may, which I reminds me I could go get or try to get. So we did order a bunch of parts with Miata. Uh, basically putting it full beginning types. We don't need to buy new tires. That's a lot of tires. We have plenty of tires. What kind of engines can we put in this car? Two J's. Pumed SR20s. LS's. Oh, stroked RB26. Rebuilt LS. Rebuilt 2J. Motor swaps is something I would like to get into more. Um, I feel like I should probably... Because the good thing is when you buy a motor for a car, you uh, it upgrades the car, but the parts you order, you can keep. So, rebuilt RB26 DET. I think we're going to try to rip the Miata stock, but we are going to save that for the next episode. Um, I believe some parts are here already. We're going to install all the parts on the next episode and uh, rip this Miata here on the Truck Drift Beta. So make sure you guys check in the next episode where I'm going to start at putting parts on this Miata, maybe doing a motor swap and shredding it and see how she handles with this MX-5. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. And until next time, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.